She's trained as a geographer, but Chef Anne Desjardins found her own way to appreciate the land. Being a chef, it is touching products and beautiful. Sometimes they are like jewels. Those jewels have made Anne an award-winning chef and her country inn in the Laurentian Mountains, an international getaway. Anne's food, her cuisine is elegant. It's also simple. It's such a pleasure to say, feed me. <laughs> it's just awesome. And yet, when she opened her restaurant, she knew nothing about cooking. I didn't say, oh, I will become a wealthy restaurateur, a renowned chef. No. <laughs> the story of a woman who took her love of nature to the kitchen and became a star chef along the way. I'm not someone who expects things. I live them. It's Monday morning at a country inn in rural Quebec that happens to have world-class cuisine. Its name says it all, l'eau à la bouche. It's French for mouth-watering, and the food here is exactly that, thanks to chef Anne Desjardins. Non, je mets sur côté, là, comme ça. Your best meal is the meal that was done yesterday. You cannot say, I've got it. You've got nothing. Unlike most chefs, Anne oversees an entire inn and spa. This is a Relais and Chateau property, and to achieve that designation as one of the top inns in the world, standards have to be maintained. It is, you know, comfort, calm, courtesy, fine cuisine, all of these wonderful things that we all crave in an inn experience. She has to care about vacancy rates and massage oils. But what Anne is really passionate about is making every meal a culinary delight to take something, transform it, make it good, share it, and then you receive from the customer something that you cannot compare it to anything. <laughs> She's known for her light touch and elegant presentation, like her salad of duck foie gras, roasted squab supreme, and loin of venison. The New York Times says her food both excites and comforts all at the same time. When I tasted her food the first time, what came through was just pure, clean flavors, you know? It was the ingredients speaking. Cooking for Anne is passion. It's instinct. She watches, she observes, she tastes, she thinks, she intellectualizes. You don't necessarily have to go to chef school to do that. And she didn't. Anne is actually a geographer by training. And that connection to the land is what inspires her as a chef. She's been called the Alice Waters of Quebec. She has touted Quebec produce around the world, in her TV shows and in her award-winning cookbook. All this, and she had no real intention of ever becoming a chef. I didn't say, oh, I will become a wealthy restaurateur, a renowned chef. No, I just wanted to, to share good food. Growing up in Montreal, Anne inherited that love of sharing food from her father, an engineer who loved to entertain. He was always uh, throwing out like a party without throwing a party, you know. We were just having the family and then suddenly we were 20 and it, everything was easy. The family had deep roots in Quebec and from an early age, Anne was fascinated by the region's terrain. I was curious and uh, all nature offers, like flowers, trees, mushrooms, all those things always interest me. It's always something new to discover. When she was a teenager, Anne, her sisters, and her parents went to Europe on a vacation. And it was in France where Anne made her first connection between food and the land from where it came. When you eat uh, in Provence, a uh, beet or a tomato or fresh olive oil, it's something that was, you know, something more than what we had in Quebec. And then you start making the difference between good and so good and wow. <laughs> but at this point, Anne was more taken with the terrain than food. In fact, she wanted to become a geographer. I wanted to be a reporter for National Geographic, nothing less. <laughs> At age 16, Anne met her first love, 
Pierre Richard. After high school, the young couple moved to Quebec City, where Anne enrolled in geography studies at Laval University. Then she got pregnant and gave birth to her first son, Emmanuel. But her young marriage was on shaky ground. I was young. I married at 20 years old and divorced at 25. Maybe I was too adventurous. I don't know. She picked up her geography studies, this time at the University of Quebec. Pierre Odette was also a geography major, and for Anne, the earth moved. I think it was uh, like, yeah, love at first sight, maybe. Second sight. At university, she already had a kid, so she was uh, a little bit more serious than the other ones. Life was good until after graduation. Anne couldn't find a job as a geographer, so she came up with a seemingly crazy idea. Why not open a restaurant? I cannot explain it because it's so naive. It is so... It just happened out of the blue. <laughs> out of bl the blue, yes. Neither Anne nor Pierre had ever even worked in a restaurant before, so the idea got mixed reviews. People, I think, uh, they thought we were crazy. My father and mother did everything <laughs> so that I, we couldn't open the restaurant in a way. But Anne's father, who had always loved to entertain, was nothing but supportive. When Anne and Pierre found the perfect house in St. Adele, one hour outside of Montreal, he loaned them enough money to convert it into a restaurant. The plan was to hire a chef once construction was completed. But... We saw the price the chef expected to be paid, and we had no money. I mean, all the money was in the transformation of the restaurant. Then we said, well, what do we do? Anne had no choice but to step in herself. I had never been inside a kitchen restaurant. Never in my life. <laughs>